In our new paper, we have found the first evidence for what would be a moon of an extrasolar planet, what we call an exomoon. An exomoon is very simply just a moon, as we're familiar with in the solar system, but the difference is that this moon goes around a planet outside of the solar system. So We've been looking for moons around extrasolar planets for many years. We know now of thousands of extrasolar planets, but to date we've never seen an exomoon before. Last year, we found a candidate exomoon in the Kepler data. That was a NASA mission. Kepler 1625 is a sun-mass star with one known planet around it, which is about the size of Jupiter, and it orbits at a similar distance that the Earth orbits around the Sun. And we think around this Jupiter-sized planet, is a Neptune-sized moon. We can't see the planet separate from the star because they're just too far away. So instead, we see the planet pass in front of the star, blocks out some of the light for a small amount of time, and we can tell there's a planet there. If there's a moon as well, then you get two decreases in brightness. What we see in our data is a very clear moon-like dip, and it is unprecedented compared to all of our previous data. So what we would really like to see is a second example of it. The only way we're going to do that is if we get more data. So we are asking Hubble if we can reobserve the star in the future and hopefully get that second event and really make it a clear-cut case that this is a real exomoon. We're interested in looking for other worlds that could be habitats for life just to really answer this age-old question as whether we're alone in the universe or not. It's a question we've asked since the dawn of civilization and now finally, thanks to modern astronomy, we're beginning to find worlds that could host life maybe and eventually in the near future we hope to be able to actually detect signatures of life on those worlds as well. The next step after these det plant detections and these moon detections will be to smell the atmosphere and see if there are signs of life in the atmospheres of these planets and that's one of the most amazing scientific adventures I can imagine being a part of.